Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to create WordPress post from Microsoft Excel. So here let's assume that I have created a worksheet in Microsoft Excel and where I'm adding the blog title and the blog content. So now my objective is that whenever in a new row I'm going to add the blog title and the blog content, then automatically a WordPress post should be created by the same. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be Microsoft Excel and my action application will be WordPress. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create WordPress post from Microsoft Excel. So here, this is the workbook that I've created by the name of WordPress post and it consists only of one worksheet. So here my objective is that whenever in a new row, I'm going to add the title and the content then by using the same, I want to create a post on WordPress. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I will be using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So now to begin with the process, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create WordPress post from Microsoft Excel and on my left hand side, these are the folders that I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as WordPress. So now I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window that consists of trigger and action. Basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So now moving to my use case, that is to create WordPress post from Microsoft Excel. So now moving to my trigger window, as I've added the title and the content in Microsoft Excel. So here Microsoft Excel will be my trigger application. And now moving to the trigger event, that will be new row and worksheet. So this trigger will start working whenever a new row will be added at last to an existing worksheet. So I'm selecting it. So now moving to my action window, as I want to create a WordPress post, so here WordPress will be my action application, here it is. Now the action event will be to create a new post. So as I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So here my objective is that whenever in Microsoft Excel, I'm going to add a new row in my worksheet then by using the details, I want to create a post on WordPress automatically. So to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I'm going to click on connect with Microsoft Excel. I've already opened my Microsoft worksheet in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on connect with Microsoft Excel. So now I'm going to click on accept as this is a secure access. So here you can see Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. That means the connection has been established successfully. So now moving to the workbook and the worksheet. So here my workbook name is WordPress post. So firstly, I'm going to select my workbook as WordPress post. And secondly, it consists only of one worksheet. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select the workbook as WordPress post. Here it is. And here the worksheet is automatically selected. So if there would have been more sheets in this worksheet, then I have to select it from the drop down. But it only consists of one sheet, so it is selected over here. So now if I'm going to click on the save and send test request button, it will get the details of this row automatically. So now to do this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Pabli Connect and click on save and send test request. So here I've received a response, the row index is one. And here is our title that is added in a row. And here is the content for the blog. 
So I've got the details over here successfully. So as I've got the row details over here in Pabli Connect, that means the first step of this automation is set up. So this means now whenever in a new row, the details will be added, then the details will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will check for the new data in 8 hours as Microsoft Excel is a polling based application. So our trigger is a polling based one. So as I've got the details over here in the response received, here I've got the title and here I've got the content. So now moving further, as I want to create a WordPress post. So here now firstly, I need to establish a connection between WordPress and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. So now moving to add new connection here, I need to mention my WordPress username or email along with my WordPress password. And then I need to mention the base URL as well. So here in this URL, this is my base URL. So I will just copy this and here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste the same. I will just remove the slash and now I'm going to enter my WordPress username or email and password to add a new connection. So as I already have an existing connection, I'm going with the same. But to add a new connection, you just have to mention your WordPress username or email along with the password and the base URL. So now I'm going with the existing connection and clicking on save. So here you can see WordPress and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the post type as I want to create a post. So here I'm going to select the post type as post. You can select other post types as well as per your need. So here I'm selecting it as post. Now moving to the post title and the post content. So here I'm going to map the post title and the post content. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from Microsoft Excel, so here I'm going to map the post title and now I'm going to map the post content. So as I've mapped the post title and the content, this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now moving to the status. So I'm selecting the status as publish. You can change it as per your needs. So now moving ahead, if you want to add the featured media ID, you can do that. Scrolling down here, I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see I've received a response and this here is a positive response. Here you can see the type is as post. Here is the title. Here is the link for the same. And here is the date and time at what time it was published. So now I'm going to take you to my WordPress account. And over here in all posts, you can see that a new post has been published. So here I'm going to click on view. And you can see that on WordPress, a new post has been created and published automatically. So that means the details for the blog, that is the title and the content which I've added in my Microsoft Excel worksheet is successfully created as a post here in WordPress. So this integration and automation was a successful one. That means now whenever in a new row, the title and the content will be added, then automatically by using those details, a WordPress post will be created. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.